Right, secret vault here. We are now heading towards the Stockwell bus station, which is down the road. And uh, there's a meet of Subterranea Britannica, and they're taking us around air vents in London. Air vents leading to underground bunkers. So let's see what's there, folks. Join us, shall you? Right, so I don't know if this is our bus. To check if this is the Subterranean Botanica bus. Find out if uh, I found the right place. This is Stop N. Yeah, this is the one. Right, well, I'm going to come back here in a bit. So. I've, I've, it's on. Hello everybody and thank you for coming to the Arhat uh, Inventive Vents. Oh, sorry, that's, <laughs> yeah, um, I think probably need to turn the volume down a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, hello again. And uh, <laughs> I think that's a bit better. Um, I'm Judy, and I think you've, you've met all of us. Um, Susanna and Lucy are here as well, and we're our hut. We do architecture. Um, we're an architecture education charity, and we do projects which are based on buildings or areas, or in this in this instance. A, uh, a building type of building, uh, ventilation shafts, and the project that we did, Inventive Vents, included school workshops and um, public events such as bus tours and tours of the underground and walking tours as well, and culminated in our book, The Gazetteer of uh, London Ventilation Shafts. I think that a lot of you have probably got that book and we're going to be going to have a look in detail at some of the shafts that are mentioned in the book. We're going to be starting with the Camberwell submarine but on the way there we'll see a few things which we'll point out to you and uh, I'll let you know when, when that's going to happen. I hope that people actually had a chance to look at the Stockwell bus garage, which obviously is not a vent, but uh, was one of our first projects or early projects. Uh, fantastic concrete building from 1952. And uh, if you do get a chance to look inside that, I definitely would recommend it. Okay, um, I'll just stop talking for a bit until we get to it event and then we'll point them out to you, yes, quite soon. Approaching um, Stockwell Tube Station quite soon, and there's actually a vent to that which is rather beautifully uh, sort of disguised on the side of the building and it forms part of the entrance. So that's something to look out for. And then in front of us, on the left, yeah, uh, Stockwell Bus Garage, um, uh, Stockwell Tube Station. And then in front of that is um, an entrance to a deep level shelter, which we've also talked about in our books, the deep level shelters that we used during the war, which I'm sure you all know about and probably have been into. <laughs> yes. this one. Yeah. Okay, so the deep level shelter is 1942. Stockwell Station on the left there 
is um, obviously a Victoria line and was built in the uh, about 1970. So it's on on the side there, the the um, cuboid, yeah, next to, next to Costa, yeah. So that's that's the vent, and you can see the grill in the front of it now. But I think I think the number nine went on quite a long time, didn't it? Fifteen was the one that went down. Oh right. Yeah, fifteen. Oh, right. It looks alright, but I just think it's really uncomfortable. It's, un and it probably is a suspension. And right. Yeah, yeah, jumping on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although I think that's why they close things up. Yeah, it was a I mean, it, it was pretty unsafe. So I mean, I do remember running, you know, I remember we always used to hang on and jump on at the last minute and everything. And, uh, Judging yes. Yeah. So we're we're coming up to the uh, Camp Oil submarine, which 
you will recognize, even if you haven't seen it before, as a submarine shape. And we're going to um, stop there and we're all going to get off and have a look and, and we'll have a chat about it. So if, if everybody comes and stands around us before going to have a look at it, we'll have a chat and then we can have a look. Now we have got drawing stuff on the bus. Um, Tony, Tony did assure me that nobody would want to draw, but we've brought, we've brought drawing stuff in case you would like to draw, because we do tend to hand out drawing stuff to people and they like it. Um, <laughs> but, but you don't need to show us what you're drawing, so it, it can just be for you. And I would say, if you're going to draw at all, the, the submarine's a great one to draw. Okay, so if you'd like that, that we will hand you something, okay? Right. So I'm gonna. <laughs> right. We're gonna get closer to the submarine. Have you seen it before? No. No. It's such a. It's such a fantastic thing, I think. <laughs> it's, uh, it's great. It's actually, they have, they have um, changed the road layout. So it used to be in the middle of the way, which, which, you know, uh, wasn't quite nice for it, I think. It's, it's a bit yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably slightly more. Come down here, everyone. So I can't see anybody with a clipboard and drawing materials. Yeah, no, but no, 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 no. Susanna said she was being studiously ignored. <laughs> <laughs> but look, well, not, as Judy says, if you're going to draw, yeah. this is the one to draw. Yeah, yeah. But also, I'm just going to have a quick look at the lady. <laughs> we'll just wait for everybody to come down and uh, then I'll... Just say a couple of things about it. Richard? <laughs> okay, I think we're more or less all here i was just gonna can you can you take some photos yeah. thanks yeah. engineer uh, just working in there just finished oh okay 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 all right so this is the camberwell submarine uh obviously a nickname but but quite clear why it's called the camberwell submarine um it was built uh, not as the urban mythologists would have us believe as a Cold War bunker, but um, actually as uh, the housing for a boiler room, uh, which was built in, in 1974 to 79 to uh, supply hot water and heating for the estate that was built at the time, which was the North Myatt's Fields estate. So um, we were incredibly lucky because we used a picture of this on our very early uh, promotion for this pro whole project. And we were approached by a chap called Michael Luffingham, 
whose first job it was to be the project architect on this on the Camberwell submarine. So he was absolutely delighted to see that it was being celebrated and he um, he actually came to meet us here but he told us that it was it was his first job and that the whole area had been cleared and and was and it was um, Lambeth Council's uh, architect's office who were building social housing here and so it was at a time when you know the idea was that the boiler house would provide all the flats with hot water and with heating. It then uh, in the 90s that idea you know with the selling off of the flats and so on that idea was um, shelved and so the boiler room was decommissioned and it was thought that in fact the submarine itself would be dismantled which would have been obviously a complete disaster as it's one of our favorites um, and but luckily it was then decided that um, with the building the new buildings of you know the regeneration of the area that the boiler room could be brought back into commission and used to heat these uh, flats and houses that are around here. So what they did was they actually um, raised the height of the flues four meters in fact, they're four meters higher than they were and um, Michael Luffingham he came to meet us here when we were doing a workshop with children and he hadn't seen it since you know for years and years and years and he said actually he was quite impressed with how they'd they'd done the new flues he thought they were actually you know pretty well in keeping and and nicely detailed so so that was really good and it's it's concrete obviously it was designed um, by him but working with an uh, engineer from Arabs who did all the the working out it was they are concrete um, precast um, pieces that had to be very carefully worked out how it was all going to fit together and so he said well the the clever chap from Arabs did that and uh, <laughs> and uh, it was it was all put together here so um, and if anybody's got any questions that's fine but otherwise um, have a good look at it and if anybody's drawing oh it looks like somebody is drawing that's brilliant uh, fantastic and uh, you know otherwise take photos and have a, have a good look around yes up that end as well there, there is actually on youtube there is a film of somebody having got inside and of the of the boiler room inside so i think it might be the old boiler room yeah i think, I think it probably it was, was the old boiler room it was but it was built in 74 74, 74 to 79 it was built yeah and it won a civic trust award yes yeah in 81 yeah <laughs> no <laughs> no no climbing <laughs> Can I have a look? <laughs> Great! Well done. Yeah, no, that's, that's brilliant. Yeah, well done. Yeah. It's good. I mean, it's just often drawing isn't, you know, it's it it just is the only way that you actually work out you for me. You understand what it yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just working out how things go together. I mean, I find that when you know looking at buildings often just drawing them really makes you realize how it's really put together so what what comes out of the top of the tower just few yeah it's just yeah it's yeah yeah, yeah. It's not yeah, yeah. no no it's a it's hollow. Yeah. yes it's yeah yeah I yeah what yeah and the and it takes
Threat, but now that it's being used again yeah, and yeah. they've spent a lot of money on it basically I think it's probably yeah. Yes. yes, that's and right. I think actually, because I used to drive along yeah. here almost yeah. every day, yeah. taking my son to school, it was more impressive in the sense of right. this thing rising yeah. up yeah. out of the yeah. road. Than, yeah. than Certainly, it is now. I think it's probably a bit more in keeping with its aesthetic, the the being in the middle of the road. Well, it but, was a yeah. surprise. You come yeah. around the corner yeah. and you think, yeah. what's that? Yeah. If we're not familiar yeah. with it. You, know, yeah. you mentioned the housing estate for yeah. which it was built. It, it, was that here or something? It was here, was, yes. Has the housing yes. estate been torn down? Well, yes, it's sort of... Um, do you know... The, so the housing estate has all... Yeah, but this was actually... A lot of this was empty land here. Yeah, so, so, it was, so, fact, so it's... it's, it's the, yeah, it's stuff partly and over there. And um, partly yes. There. Well, in other words, yeah, was over, it over... You know, Huge yeah. area was it? It was that, a large was area. Big? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was right. a very big area. It was a got, North Matsfield. The, um, yes, I, I love old maps like this, and I don't have any in South London. Well, I, mean, you see, I live in North Mark, London. Could I have the phone? So we did get one taker for drawing. Yes, it's so good. I've got to say, it's a bit cold. <laughs> it is quite cold for it, yes. But it's so. Yes, have, have you seen it before? No. No. Do you live in London? No, 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 no. I live in West Sussex. Uh, oh. a, lovely to get out. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because the Ephra floods, um, it was abandoned. But in the 50s, it was made into a vent for the Northern Line, so it's a mid tunnel vent. And the real excitement of it is that when you go past, sometimes the uh, netting on the top of it, because it's open at the top, the netting rises up because of the train is going underneath. So we need to look for that and hope that 
that's what happens. It's on the right hand side. We'll be going past it fairly soon on the traffic island. Um, the, need to will it to uh, happen as we go past. So it's, it's that, it's that, um, yeah, it's that hexagonal um, structure there on the left. Not terribly prepossessing, but uh, this is what we need to look at. It's on our left now. I did, but I decided seating around it. Yeah, it originally had seating around it. Keep looking, because it may a train may go underneath. Um, yeah, it originally had seating and uh, a, a roof structure, but that's all gone. Oh no! Looks so like we're not going to see it. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was just fooling us. <laughs> There's a driver holding that. The thing with the crown on top is uh, ventilating the public toilets there, a uh, sort of a stink, stink pipe type thing, but uh, yeah. not not the normal one. We will see. We will see uh, some. Uh, classic stink pipes later, so, so don't worry. No, <laughs> 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 no, not your average Sunday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. The trouble is, we get so excited about all these little weird things, and then. <laughs> Of course, you know, we should have invited Richard Atkinson. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, never mind. Yeah. Got them. Another time. I mean, I don't mind. It's, it's one eight nine. It's yeah. the forensic. What is it? The police forensic. Yeah, the police forensic. Coming up. On the left to uh, one of the nine nine down the road, which is the police um, forensic department, and there's a large fence. We'll be stopping there in a minute, hopefully. Um, just under the tunnel, and then they, you see, there's a brown brick, um, brutalist style building. The fence. Um, is part of the oh, oh and we're going to stop off here, I think. So, uh, yeah, so we can talk about it. Out there so, we're we'll talking a minute about it. So, you was the past. Let's go and have a look. Let's see. Do you want to get off? Have a look. We're going to stop. Do you want to get, get off?
<laughs> semi it's got these sort of lovely curved um, shapes and we've got this very nice stone base um, and a very large number on on this side so you know exactly where to get on so it was obviously designed to be something people should want to look yeah. at yeah. and uh, yes yeah it's for the police station. It's got oh, a sorry for the electrical the station. Room. Yeah, yeah exactly. they, they've got the twenty-four hour call center in there, so they have to they have to be independent in with their power. So if the power went off, they would still they would still have power, and that's why they've got they've got a huge sort of electrical whatever underneath here, yeah. and this is what ventilates it. It's on a huge scale. Yeah, it is huge. yeah, is it's that massive. Because of what's underneath? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. 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 they've we got you know all their own generators and everything, so they can keep going. Because it is, it's the main twenty-four hour call centre for London. So yes. it's okay. and, and it's the forensic centre. More than just yeah, the police. yeah, yeah. It's the forensic centre. These, yeah. these pavement lights are all part of it, I guess. So. I think it's so. the forensic stuff. It's all well, the private hands. Well, it may it may be, but uh, when this was built in '66, I mean, I they, they still do have the big generator okay. underneath. So I think they. Even if they outsource it, maybe yeah. they were anyway. Yes, and they would still right. need 20. Yeah. yeah. She was in an admin on it, but that's what she did up in. And she was before. No, no, yeah. she was up yeah. north, but it's the only reason I know that there was still stuff yeah. done in. It, it was still done in the house. I think, yes, some of it's outsourced, but I think there's still there's yes. so much of it. It's different and some terrorist stuff. It's it that it does. Every, yeah. every, pretty much. Forensic involvement. Because because you know they mm -hmm. don't have the money and they, 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 invest, they, they don't investigate well, not they're not really much, and there's not that much forensics <laughs> carried out whereas right. in the UK it's, it's, it's more unusual to not have any forensic right. involvement right uh, no. my, yeah my well, friend's wrote, really she, she, yeah. She got, she got a, uh, yeah so it's sort of real ruthless and it was built at the same time as the police station yeah it fits in well doesn't it really yeah it yeah. really clicks in yeah. with the, uh, yeah. the uh, yeah. buildings yeah the rest of the architecture the rest of the architecture I don't need the architecture it's an interesting. If you do a 360 degrees just from this spot, I just noticed mm, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah, range. range. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's Susanna's school. Yeah. 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 Barely has, yeah. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, as Richard says, you know, if you look round, the uh, amount of ra the range of architectural styles just yeah, looking round right. from here is just incredible, yeah. isn't it? What date is Fairly House? So this is your school, I guess. my school. It's. Yeah, and that was a, that's a sort of, uh, that's okay. listed that's actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I haven't done the hashtag thing, but we can add the thing. Right, yes, yeah, it's, um, it's always good to, uh, yes, no. you know, uh, and do Act uh, 20, C20 because they always repost. Yes, well, I think it'll have to be, it'll have yeah. to be but we just yeah. did it in the enthusiasm yes. of seeing all yes. 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 Good. And we do have books for sale if, if anybody does want to buy What's the book called? So, uh, yeah, the book is called 
inventive vents, a gazetteer of London's ventilation shelves. But I think quite a lot of you probably have the book anyway. So, um, but if not, and you want one, we do have it for sale. Okay. There are the snakes the middle crossing was supposed to have a tower that never built on, which is why she's got that middle. You know, that's supposed to be a big Okay. Is, is there a vent there? Let me. Well, there was a vent. There was a vent on the on the big bed. Ah, yes. Yes, yes of course. It was yes. the, the um. Yeah. Well, it it was more than a vent. It was the well, they um. Were trying to it was the um. Yeah, the whatever you get it called it the you know it was the lit it was the lit one you know the oh yeah giant they were going to do a giant yeah yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. gas destructor land where yes. are we going next by the way we're going to we're going to broad sanctuary opposite westminster abbey to look at the queen's oh because we think it's probably too difficult to do so but it's going to be outside the uh qe2 center where there are some vents which um, lead to the citadel or the, the labyrinth of tunnels underneath uh, Whitehall and so on that were discovered by Duncan Campbell in 1980 when he managed to get a bike in there and cycle around. I'm sure you all know all about this, but um, he managed to cycle around for hours um, uninterrupted, it seems, finding all sorts of secret tunnels. Uh, yes, so there's a demonstration there. And we're going to go the next bit. So to the right, um, in front of the QE2 Centre, are two very low vents which You'll need to work hard to spot. Oh, there we are. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's one over there which looks a bit like a well to the right, and then a very low one that we've just gone past. And those ventilate the um, underground passageways, which. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So. Okay, no entry. Oh, that's new. Yeah, okay. Okay, but we've had a good look. Oh, illegally reversing a bus while passengers are on it. <laughs> yes. I think private hired a man. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Transport for London headquarters, the underground headquarters as was, which has just been um, sold off. Um, so, 55 Broadway, yes, by Holden. And obviously, um, responsible for many, many No, it can't be Northern Line, but no, it's not. It maybe isn't for a tube. It's hard to know, but it's yeah, an event. We don't know, but yeah, it's definitely an event. Well, it could be Victoria. Are we, are we it's not because we know all the Victoria Line events. I know, but we know all the Victoria Line events. Yeah, but they, 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 yeah, I don't think it's Victoria Line. I probably saw one. Yeah. Yeah.
Where are we getting on board? Yes, we are getting off here. We're going to have a look at at a Victoria Line vent. Interesting, what's this one then? A gate? A gate leading to something? Any where, idea what? Where of water? Yes. Any yeah. idea what we're looking at here? No, <laughs> just no, no, ephemera. No. <laughs> right. The old well, signs that uh, ah. date back a couple of hundred years, I should think. Right. So some of their cases, but um, okay. Half of them have been obscured. Oh, I think we might be looking at this on the top because there's a vent up there and this is London Regional Transport and I think it could be that there's a hidden vent on top of these uh, houses here and that's why there's no houses there it's just a blanked off area so you have houses blank where the vent is more houses and it goes down into the ground now I get it. Right. <laughs> Well, and you can see it goes across, but you can see that um, you've got houses, then a blank, then a blank, then more houses. And basically, that vent goes right the way through there. 
Yeah, the fake front. front. So they've, the they've used the same idea here. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So they've made it clear that it's not, but, but they've kept the line of the corners and so they probably, yeah, they probably match it up, you know. So apparently it's the Victoria line is underneath, yeah. You know, the bricks. And it really matched it up. They blended in pretty well with the London stocks. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it actually is really good. That is fabulous. Okay. Because we kept talking to us and saying, wow, that's so brilliant, isn't it? And it's actually a ventilation shaft cover. And uh, maybe there are lots of others that are really interesting. And, you know, we could do a project about them and they'd be fantastic because they'd be clues to underground London. And that's something that, you know, we could teach children about the whole infrastructure of London through using the exciting and, and you know very disparate uh, bits of architecture which pop up all over the place and people don't really notice them so this was the first one so we have a special fondness for this and this is by the sculptor Paolozzi um, it was commissioned uh, by the Crown Estates through uh, Whitfield Partners who built uh, these buildings around and so the idea was that um, they used a bit of public art to be the uh, shaft for probably it says in the listing a car park there's obviously no longer a car park there and i'm not sure why they don't know that it's a car park everything that that i've read about it People, people say it's for the tube. It definitely isn't for the tube. We know it's not for the tube. Um, and it almost certainly is for an old car park. But it's now, it's now not being used as a vent anymore, but is, is a, a listed sculpture because it is such a fantastic bit of work. So it was done. Was, it's cast was it more than just a vent? I mean, it looks it's like a, it's got some technology up there. It's a vent cover. Um, well, it, it's, it was designed to look like something, you know, sort of industrial. But it, but it does have technology because it, it was taking cool air in and releasing hot air. So that's what, you know, some of these tubes are doing. They're taking the hot air out and then there's... The grills bringing cool air in, so it was it was um, cast in in Scotland. Um, it's 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 steel wall um, panels that have been painted in aluminium paint, and Palazzi is quite typical. Sorry, it's quite typical of. of his sort of st eclectic style of looking at all sorts of things. So things from um, industrial life uh, to natural, the natural world. So when you go around, you'll see hogs and uh, insects and all sorts of different things on there. And that was the sort of thing that he was really keen to bring together. 
Um, he called himself a surrealist. He's often been called a pop artist. Um, and I think, you know, it was that sort of juxtaposition of all sorts of different things that interested him. And also he, he produced this, he designed this to look really robotic as part of the uh, industrial world. I think also he's a bit of a wayfinder for the Tate Gallery, I think. You know, there's some acknowledgement of it in, in terms of what they commissioned. Is that see people happening. would see it on their way to the Tate Gallery and it's obviously by a famous artist. And, yeah. They certainly, the, the Whitfield partners certainly wanted a, a famous artist, a, an important artist to produce this bit of work which would, you know, uh, be very eye-catching and uh, be something that people talked about, which it, it, it is. Uh, quite different from the event that they themselves designed sort of 20 years later in 2003 in Paternoster Square. If you go there, they designed a sort of much more uh, postmodern type pastiche column event. So that's worth going to have a look at as well and see how different their ideas must have been after 20 years. Uh, so, such a such a different style. But anyway, do have a look all around. So are you saying that, as far as you're aware, that the types actually form have a practical purpose, they're not just decoration? Well, I think that's Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Doorway here, look. It's got hin hinges here, look, folks. Yeah. See through the gap just up there. Yeah. Might have been for some sort of car park that was under here because this is quite deep. It's quite deep, isn't it? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows where it goes? Probably MI7. MI7 subterranean. Subterranean. Uh, <clears throat> Voltanica. It's, it's 
a heat um, exchanger that it took. But it's part of a system that took hot water from Bassey Power Station yes. on the Thames, and it was used to heat the Churchill Garden Estate and the Dolphin Square as, as well. So a lot of um, heat, and I think it was, you know, um, used for heating and for, for the um, hot water itself as well. Um, but. It, we're not going to stop just here, but we're also approaching the pumping station. <laughs> okay, so on the right is, uh, we're just coming up to the um, pumping station, which was part of Basil Jet's original um, sewage system. So. Basically, it's for the low-level sewer, which went along the north bank um, on the embankment, um, and it, it had to, so the sewage came down at a sort of gradient. The, the sewer was um, slanted downwards, and at this point, it had got too low for the system, so it needed to be pumped up again. So we've got the really wonderful, detailed um, sewage works, the main building, and then beyond that, and we can probably, you can probably see it, I can see it, um, is the sort of Campanile style uh, tower which is, is, Ita is deliberately Italianate in a sort of Victorian style. Um, and it's, um, it was used to uh, let out the, the steam from the steam engines, which did the pumping. And uh, so that was what it, what it was in, in when it was built, but now, They've changed the technology, and they've got different engines pumping the sewage up. They're still they're still pumping the sewage up. It's still working as it always did. But the but the tower, with its lovely um, Italian details, is uh, now used as a, like a sort of huge stink pipe, basically, which which just releases the gases which have come out of the sewage works. I mean, that slightly begs the question as to what happened to those gases before when it was when it was used as a big chimney. I, I don't know whether they just were lucky that they didn't have a huge explosion. But anyway, it is it is now just used in that way. And inside, it's got it's um, cylindrical, and you can apparently climb the height of it. So uh, I don't. I think it's probably open on sort of special days, and you can climb up it, which would be quite fun. But quite strenuous. It might be, yeah. Oh yes. And then and then um, on the left we've got uh, the site of what's going to be one of our newest events, but it's um, part of Tideways system where they are it's it's where they put their shafts down to uh, dig the super sewer. And so they've got these islands into the river, and this is one of them on the left-hand side. We can't actually see it because of the hoarding, but what they've done is they they created these islands, which are actually going to be something apparently very lovely. Um, they're going to put uh, lots of sort of natural landscaping and stuff onto the islands and they're also going to have vents which we've seen we've seen drawings of them and they are in the book there's a sort of picture of, of them in in the book um they're going to be sort of twisted metal columns with poetry on them so yeah Hopefully they will be worth looking at, and and these these new little islands or you know promontories into the river will be places that people will be encouraged to go and 
you know, sort of sit around and enjoy. That's apparently what uh, Thai way of thinking, anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, they should, they, should, they should be nice. They should be nice. Yes, yes. I mean, I, I don't know if you know about the um, the super sewer, but the whole idea is that because Patton Get System, brilliant as it has been all this time, has got overloaded far too many people. It was designed for four million people at a time when there were two million people living in London. Uh, we're now something like eight, nine billion, and uh, obviously the system gets completely overloaded, and the and the river is full of poo, as they told all the children that we took to see them. Um, and so they've they got this huge, great big super sewer under the Thames, which is down at a, at, at a depth of 66 metres in places, and also it's about 25 miles long, something like that. Um, and uh, it's doing the trick, it's going to do the trick of cleaning up the river, hopefully. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, it, will, it will catch the overflow and then that will all go out to the east. Yeah, we're going over Chelsea Bridge, so if you look to the right, you should be able to see the Tideway a little uh, promontory. But obviously there are lots of things to look at going over Chelsea Bridge. There's so, so much, there's all the Nine Elms new stuff as well, which is quite shocking if you haven't seen it before and the uh, new American Embassy, Betsy Power Station, almost uh, shrouded in that. Um, to go past the uh, new Betsy Power Station station, uh, which uh, Spacious. 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 Yeah, and we also going to see a snake pipe. Yeah. Yes. So, again, part of um, the battle jet sewage system, the snake pipes, which uh, is on your right hand side, the green. Uh, cast iron holes, yeah, made in sections, and yeah, the, 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 there are lots of variations with stink pipes because they were made by quite a few different companies, and some, oh, yeah, and there's a station on your left, the new station. Huge vent next to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they obviously haven't tried very hard with that one. Unlike the um, Jubilee line extension, so if you get a chance to look at the Jubilee line extension vents, those are really worth going to see. Um, so the I think it's another stink pipe, isn't it? So on the on the left. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. and then, yeah, and by the light, there are the um, Richard Rogers sort of um, usual vents that you can see you know, in other places around London that look like pe a bit like people's faces. You can see them with the the red. Oh, those, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or earbuds, all sorts of, yeah, Leadenhall has them as well. Um, and those are... Yeah. There they are. Yeah, oh, they're for ventilating the car park, yeah. Um, You may be able to see, I'm not sure if you will, but there's the swimming pool in the air, 
If you look on the right hand side, you might possibly catch a glimpse of it, um, but it, it, it may be too shrouded in the other buildings. It's, uh, everybody's always very excited. Oh yeah, it's a... Uh, and then obviously, it, it, probably when we pass the American Embassy, you'll be able to see it again on the right hand side. Uh, so this is the American Embassy, quite controversial. Um, and the, then, yeah, there's a swimming pool up in the air with, yeah, with people swimming in it as well. Oh yes, and also a stink pipe on the left. Yeah, so the stink pipes are still working, those stink pipes, just to take the fumes out of the sewers. Unfortunately, being painted, which has not improved it. But it's on the left hand side as we're coming up now, and you can see it sort of uh, diagonally thrusting forward oh, yeah. um, with the vent in the front, and that is for the Victoria line. And there's another vent from the right hand side, we're just going past, which is a cylindrical vent for the station, the Vauxhall station. But this one on the left is, is one of our great favourites. So that was another one that made us think the project would be a good thing to do, along with the Paloxy one. That's very rare. Look, I'll say that was a sorry, MO5, sorry, MO6 building is there, Pyramid. But there's a strange building there in Cream. I'm sure it's much That building, that building there has security doors on it as well, which is interesting. So. Yeah. So there's MI6. Oh, God, it's disgusting. <laughs> Very public. And if you're on the level that you are. So this is what you want to say. It's not very good.